Hi, this is Dr. Smith from Oak Tree Veterinary Hospital. Thanks for checking in today. Today we're going to offer some really good ideas about how to transport your pet, whether it be a dog or a cat or even a small mammal, to our veterinary hospital. One of the most challenging things that we can do is to prepare ourselves and to prepare our pets for travel into the veterinary hospital. For dogs, one of the things that we love to do before having our patients examined by our doctors is to allow your pet to see the hospital. If you're coming here for the first time, please give us a call ahead of time. Uh, even the day before your appointment, you're welcome to stop by the clinic. Uh, our front desk staff and our veterinary technicians will give your pet a treat and play with them so that they have a good experience on their first trip into the hospital. That way, come the second day when it's the real day for them to come in for their visit, they will be familiar with the facility and our staff. That will really help them feel better at home and on the ride in. Another thing that you can do at, at home in preparing them for travel is get them used to being traveled in and out of your vehicle. Get them used to being restrained or hugged at home. Uh, you can give them a big hug. Uh, that demonstrates to them uh, something that we'll be doing here in the clinic during our normal physical exam is a gentle restraint while they're on the table. Another thing that we can do is play with your dog's feet, get them used to having their feet touched, perhaps even their lips touched, and even their tail touched. Doing those things at home will ensure that your, your dog really has a very good visit to the hospital. For our cats, certainly you're welcome to come in the day before, uh, let them see the hospital. That's not always as important for cats, uh, but you're welcome to do that. They often won't take treats from us here in the hospital. They're a little bit nervous. At home really is a time to prepare your, your, your cat for travel into the veterinary hospital. And at home what we like to recommend is uh, at least a week before your visit, have your cat's pet travel carrier out so that they can see, they can see the dreaded crate uh, and know that that will be okay. Because in that crate that you'll travel them in with, you're welcome to place food or snacks in the kennel so they can walk in and out and get used to that being just a place to get fed. Even offer them breakfast or dinner in the kennel. You can also prepare the, the pet kennel for travel by using a natural pheromone called Feel Away. We have that available here at the clinic either in a spray form or in moist towelettes that you can apply the, the pheromone to the travel carrier. That's a pheromone that cats are used to. It, it was released by their mother and kittens while they're nursing and that pheromone helps calm cats for travel. Certainly let them get used to the feel away for at least a week before their visit with the pet travel carrier on the floor with treats and even food for a few days ahead of time in there and that makes your job in the morning a little bit easier to place your cat into the carrier for travel. For your small mammals certainly travel them in a carrier that they are familiar with uh, that's very important. It's also uh, important that they have food and water before coming to see us because often they'll be nervous and won't eat while they're here and they may not eat when they get home. Uh, you can get them used to being traveled by placing a towel over their carrier so that they travel really in the dark knowing that they're in good hands and that helps them stay more calm when they're traveling to see us. It's also a really good tip to use for feline uh, carriers as well. For your cats, drape a pillowcase or a towel over their carrier and that helps them travel a little more in comfort. So thanks for checking in today. I'm Dr. Smith with Oak Tree Veterinary Hospital.